I'm coming to you this week from my office in my house in Phoenix, Arizona. Just got back from almost a week in New York City where we had personal one-on-one -on -one, face to face spiritual encounters. Incredible miracles took place. Our ministry update section in our blog weekly update tells all about it this week. You can read the full story there. Some amazing things. There was a, a young father, very tormented, didn't know it was because of a 30 generation curse going back to a murder. A woman in her 70s had never talked about the sexual abuse she suffered as a child and she got free. There was a, a young woman in her 30s, very tormented physically and mentally. Didn't know this all went back. Hundreds of years ago to England, Knights Templar Black Magic Freemasonry was the root. Some amazing things happen. So if you haven't had a personal spiritual encounter, no matter who you are, I encourage you to set up an appointment. You can do so after the beginning of the year in one of our seminar cities, or you can fly to our beautiful new facility in Phoenix, Arizona. I've actually set aside some dates between now and the end of the year, and I only have a few times left, so I encourage you to call right away. This is a great way to start the new year and a way to find the potential you always knew you had, but the devil was holding you back from. So schedule that personal encounter today. I want to talk to you a few moments about the subject of tattoos. I've written about this before. I've done several blogs on the subject. You know, I'm not a fan of tattoos. I have a section in my book on curse breaking, quite lengthy, very detailed. I encourage you to read that if you haven't and get the book on curse breaking. Now, I'm not a legalist on the issue. Of course, there are things like medical tattoos and even some people believe in biblical tattoos. So if you've got John 3.16 in your back, okay, it's not the same as the grim reaper or a dragon on your bicep, but I'm still not crazy about the idea for a number of reasons. But what got me going on this is a comment made by Carl Lentz. Now, he's a pastor with the Hillsong Group in New York City, and uh, yeah, I'm not here to pick a fight with him. He's tattooed all over the place. He got sleeves basically in both arms, and He's seen nothing, nothing wrong with it, but in the public media, he made a comment recently that it is a no-brainer from a biblical standpoint that there's anything wrong with tattoos. And I was very disturbed by that comment. I think there's some questionable biblical exegesis behind that. But I want to give you a couple of thoughts that I have because I think it's disturbing. Look, Lentz is... A very powerful influence uh, among particularly millennial Christians and uh, the emerging church. So uh, I think his voice carries some weight. And when he says it's just a no-brainer, there's nothing wrong with tattoos, we need to approach that with a little more caution. Now, I'm not here to condemn him, his ministry, or Hillsong, the great work that they've done. Praise Christ. Wherever he is preached, to thank God. Even if Christ is preached in contention to praise the Lord. So I'm not here to condemn him or the ministry, but I just don't like the idea of being called brainless because I oppose tattoos. You know, there is a really serious danger, particularly of tattoos, most of which center on dragons and death and sometimes uh, occult words and imagery and incantation and mantras and, and people who get these tattoos don't even know what they're getting. Now, I have dealt with hundreds of cases of people, well-documented, who have become demonized by tattoos. Now, I agree, it depends on what the tattoo is, but it's a very grave danger, and I don't think it's a no-brainer. In fact, I think the Bible is very clear about this subject. And I don't want to be lectured by anybody, by Lentz or anyone, who, who doesn't do deliverance and isn't involved in serious, hardcore spiritual warfare when they say there's nothing wrong with tattoos and it's a no-brainer, it's absolutely okay from a scriptural standpoint. That's just not the case. And I'm here to give the other side and offer a word 
of caution. I think this idea of being two cool Christians today is cultural compromise when it comes to things like this. Read my book on curse breaking. Read my book dealing with demons. And look at some of the case studies I cite of actual instances when I've dealt with people who have demons as the result of a portal being opened through a tattoo. I'm not going to make a blanket statement that everybody who has a tattoo has a demon, that everybody who has a tattoo is walking in disobedience to God. I am going to say, look at the facts. My blog has some additional references and some websites that you can go to by other Christians who have spoken out on this subject so you can make an informed decision before you get a tattoo or before you think it's a no-brainer. I think Christians need to take a second look at this and consider whether or not the inking of the body is walking in obedience to Jesus Christ. And I want to take this opportunity to wish all of you a Merry Christmas and to wish you a Happy New Year. And I look forward to seeing you in a seminar city somewhere in this coming year. And hopefully before the end of the year or soon thereafter, and a personal encounter to see you get free, stay free, and live free.